The Holiday Inn Express of Pittsburgh has flexible meeting spaces, complimentary internet access, a free hot breakfast bar in the morning, and an indoor pool that the whole family will enjoy. Come book a room at the newest hotel in Pittsburgh, the Holiday Inn Express. The Pittsburgh State Grill is looking to stay in the thick of the mix for the NCAA Division II playoff picture Saturday, November 9th, as they travel to St. Charles, Missouri to face the Lindenwood Lions. The Lions handed the Grills a home loss a year ago that ended Pitt State's postseason hopes. Pitt State players made sure that script didn't repeat itself as the Grills jumped onto the Lions early on their senior day at Hunter Stadium. On the first drive of the game, junior Keiston Terry knocks the ball loose from the Lions wide receiver Alex Robinson and Devin Jensen is finally able to corral the ball for the Grills at the Lindenwood 25-yard line. It takes Pitt State just four plays to score on a five-yard John Brown rush, and PSU quickly grabs his lead 7-0. The following Lindenwood drive would end in another turnover. Junior Devontae Bozzi picks off Lions quarterback Dylan Miller, and this sets the Grills' offense up at their own 21-yard line. Pitt State drives its way down to the LW 5-yard line, but Jeff Siebold Jr. fumbles the ball and the Lions recover. Siebold would redeem himself on the Grills next possession. After a Lindenwood 3 and out, Siebold busts a 35-yard touchdown run, and Pitt State extends his lead to 14. Connor Frizzell would add a 35-yard field goal in the second quarter, and the Grills go into halftime with a 17-0 advantage. Pittsburgh State would put the game away in the third quarter as the Grillas go on to score three touchdowns in the period. The first comes on Tony Abanoa pass to sophomore Marquise Cushion from 10 yards out, and Pitt State lead is now 24-0. After Tyler Disney forces another Lindenwood fumble, Siebel pounds his way into the end zone from the one yard line on a fourth down play. The Lions' next possession would end on a fourth down as they failed to convert the first down. Two plays later and Brown would score again, but this time through the air. Abinoa scrambles out of the pocket and drops the ball into Brown's hand for the 24-yard touchdown pass. Senior linebacker Nate Dryling would write his name on top of the record book Saturday, making 13 tackles in the game to become Pitt State's all-time leading tackler. He would finish the game with 475 tackles in 46 career games, moving past former All-American Chris Brown atop the list. Brown made 470 stops from 1992 to 1995. Pitt State would force three turnovers in the contest and hold Lindenwood on downs five times in the contest, including a goal line stand and four stops in the Gorilla Territory. Pitt State returns to the friendly confines of Carney Smith Stadium this Saturday, November 16th, for the Gorilla's Senior Day in Sonic Miners Bowl matchup with MIAA rival Missouri Southern State University. For full coverage of weekly and post-game press conferences and exclusive podcasts, become a Gorilla Access member today. Stay connected to Pitt State Athletics through its YouTube channel, Facebook, and Twitter. Follow the Grills throughout the season at their official online home, www.pittstategrills.com. Comfort Inn of Pittsburgh offers a cozy, welcoming room with free internet access. Enjoy the indoor pool area year-round and wake up to a complimentary breakfast every morning. When staying at the Comfort Inn, you can feel at ease knowing that your satisfaction is the most important thing to us.